let's see how we make the Pokeball with a 3D printer and how it compared to other spinners. Enjoy! Thank you for supporting our channel, and if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. It will do us a big favor. Also, today we will be reviewing the Pokeball Spinner, a tri-prong spinner that is 3D printed. Okay, so you see the process before. So let's see that this is not secure. So we had a little buffer in between, so it help you to spin most smoothly. And we add these, like this good 6, 608. The, the hybrid ball bearing and let's see if we can compete with our big boys all right so let's, let's get started so let's spin our true spinner sun kong and chillax first and oh, this no, is a valkyrie and i love a spinner pokeball spinner also spin some shell so this is that we loaded the, our MakerBot Mini. Um, it take probably two hours to print the whole thing. Um, so we need to unload and load different color. Um, and have to print one each. But this outcome is pretty good. Uh, you can see that it's very unique. And we add this good um, the hybrid bearing. And it looks right. very realistic. And it's supposed to last pretty long. But I'm really, really surprised that it lasted over 50 seconds. Because usually those 3D spurs usually don't even fit the bearing. Yeah, so we need to heat it up uh, with the hair blower to make the plastic expand a little bit to fit the bearing into it. But um, it's pretty good we last for a minute and 15 seconds and see maybe it can last for a minute and 30 seconds and almost as a as the 7d printer uh, 7d tg screener so let's see that if it is going to win last so so it lasted one minute and 35 seconds it's pretty good so yeah. we'll just take a little it, it, look so this is so we added uh just spray painted the the front so very look realistic and it's been we add we add the we add the a buffer so because the the cap is not 
will push all the way in and it just stop it from spinning. So look, if you look inside, there's a berry on the buffer to like make it you know, very realistic. Looks like a real Pokeball. So you would put in two taps. And, and this is super cool. Now you can try it if you have time. And put definitely worth it. And just remember to add a good bearing. And we can outspin the 70s spinners. So that is. And that's it. For today, I uh, remember to hit the like and subscribe button, and also, uh, if you like to buy the the spinner in the video, uh, click on the video descriptions. Um, thank you so much. Sunkong, Valkyrie, and the True Spin. And remember so to hit the subscribe button here, and click on the view the additional video. Thank you so much. All right, see you next time. Bye.